Okay, let's talk about 3D views. By default, you have these two views over here that represent your 3D world. Um, if you want, you can select only a single view and you have a bigger area for your view. Um, also, there are different ways of seeing what is happening on, on the, the 3D world. Um, so, by default, you have a, a, this top view that has a camera above the uh, pointing down. You have also a front view, uh, a left and a right view perspective that gives you a perspective on what is happening. If you have a video included on your project, there is the video view that allows you to, to see a video. And also there is this special spherical view that gives you a, a, a completely 3D, 3D representation in a single image, almost like seeing a map of the, the planet Earth or something like that. So you have in here the horizontal uh, plane above it in here it's above your head below your head and this line here represented the center and then the right left and the rear over there so it means that essentially you can see what are where are the particles but on a 3d view uh, and for instance imagine that you select a multi-channel so you can see this is the, the center channel right, left, right, surround, left, surround, right. So essentially, this it's quite interesting to see where are the particles in terms of a 3D space. And also, you can see the particles on top of your video. So if you want to synchronize things, you can use this view to make sure that the sound is on top of the image. But OK, let's return to uh, a more generic uh, view. So on in all of these views you can use the drag to make uh, to change what you are what you are seeing. You can also use control dragging to zoom in and zoom out and also on the perspective you can use the alt drag to rotate to make sure that you know where you are on the 3D space. Also in the perspective view, if there is this axis that is slightly brighter than the other ones, this is to represent front. So sometimes you are rotating things and you no longer know where is front and rear and left and right. So this gives you the idea this okay, this is front and then left, right, and back. And also all of this you can change views not only in here, but you have a uh, all these choices over here, including all the shortcuts that you can use to to change between several views. There is support for full screen if you want the, the image on full screen. Also, you can select if you want to, to uh, add and remove things in terms of the views, the panels within your graphical interface. And also there is this maximize that allows you to see what is happening uh, on a bigger area so and all of these views allow you to help uh, when you are working with the software this these views will not have any kind of impact on sound because this is only to give you the feedback information uh, in terms of the visual location of uh, particles but it's a quite interesting tool and also most of these uh, views also have a scale indicator over here that allows you to have some uh, some information about what is the scale of it